MORI stands for Modular Ocean Research Infrastructure, and our goal is to develop an interoperable system of modular scientific research equipment that can be used on non-specialized vessels to get sophisticated research done. In Canada right now, we have a crisis of capacity of research vessels, which has been developing for a decade and is actually getting worse. Our problem is that we don't have a nationally coordinated way to access the ocean for research. Without the ship time here on the Canadian East Coast, we must rely on our US-based and European partners. The duration, the location and the time of their cruises often reflect the priorities of the research organizations that they represent, not necessarily our own research priorities. With research vessel capacity, there's two aspects you need to address. One is you need a platform, you need a boat. Second is you need the scientific infrastructure that goes on that platform. The vision of Mori is to build a modular system of laboratories, meeting rooms, workshops, associated equipment to support offshore oceanographic research. What I really like about the MORI project is the fact that we're developing ways that technology can be applied aboard different vessels. So there's a big uh, value in scalability and flexibility around testing equipment. The intent of the program is to put together these modular systems that can be combined in different configurations to support different research applications and install that on non-specialized vessels. By having a Canadian-led cruise on, on a Canadian vessel enables us to make sure that the research priorities of the Canadian researchers are being properly addressed. It's becoming harder and harder to use uh, traditional uh, government science and Coast Guard science uh, vessels. There's a shortage of, of vessel capacity, particularly here in Eastern Canada. So this is a solution to address that, that shortage of, of vessel capacity. Historically, Ocean research has been done from customized, specialized uh, vessels. With Mori, we'll be able to get a large amount of the work we need to get done using uh, non-specialized vessels, but suitably equipped with flexible modular infrastructure. Honestly, if we did not have this, we would not be able to do this expedition this year, maybe not next year. So we do have the difficulty now having access to ships, but also having um, availability for this type of equipment, like the ROV. Well, I think what Maury's done is really allows us to go to sea and do, the, do this sort of stuff. So it provides these chemistry labs like we're in right here, where we can process our samples, the infrastructure to allow us to get up to, sea, to these environments, not only see them firsthand, but also make the measurements we need to conduct our research. There is a considerable amount of engineering effort that goes into designing our modular systems to building different infrastructure interfaces. So when we do put it on the vessel, everything can be connected and work effectively together. Hubble's got a lot of experience building deep sea winches, building cranes that are specialized to handle ocean science gear. So sensors and sort of customized sampling equipment. A big success of Mori is a new level of collaboration, I think, on this project where we get to understand more in depth actually what happens on the ship, doing the science, and we can take what we know about handling equipment and we can make it better. We can make a system that works well for everybody. It enables science to happen on any vessel. It's kind of a system that makes research easy. So that level of flexibility should bring about new innovations in how we perform research in the ocean environment, how we have different types of vessels 
that are able to support the type of research that we need in Canada to really be world leaders in the blue economy. We're developing flexible infrastructure that can make use of existing vessels, uh, including Canadian owned and operated vessels of different types. And our investments in scientific infrastructure today will be immediately transferable to the vessels of the future.